Hello and welcome to this video on Advanced Report Studio techniques focusing on integrating Google Maps into Report Studio. There are three main types of mapping uh, available in Report Studio. You can use the out of the box CMF files, which is a Cognos map file. You can also create custom CMF files for your own use. You can use Esri maps, there's Esri integration or you can embed Google Maps into your report which is what we're going to be focusing on today. With Google Map integration there are two types or two methods of integrating the maps. You can use the static API which just renders an image from Google Maps in your report or you can integrate a more dynamic uh, map using the Google Maps API. Now, any integration of Google Maps must adhere to the Google licensing terms and conditions. So let's start by having a look at the static API example. The static API allows you to display a static image of a map on your report page. You cannot open up any info windows or cannot zoom or move the map around as it's a static image. One of the advantages of this approach is you get fast, reliable performance. Now one of the best ways of creating a static map within your report is using a HTML item, then a repeater with another HTML item embedded set as a report expression and then another HTML item outside the repeater. Okay, so let's actually run a static um, map from Report Studio. So this is linking in with the Google Static API. So as you can see, I've got an image displayed within my Report Studio report. I can't click on any of the markers and I can't move the map around. It's just a static image, but as you can see, it appeared very quickly, so you get fast, reliable performance. So let's move on to having a look at a more dynamic Google Map API example. So here I can pick the map up, move it around. I can click on my markers so this is a warehouse address and if I double click I can zoom in on different areas of the map. So this is a much more dynamic and interactive map which is probably more appropriate for most of the needs but sometimes can take a bit longer to render. So I'm now going to move on to again using the Google Map API um, which allows some additional functionality which you can't use if you're using the static API. And this is to do with clustering. So initially it looks very sparsely populated. So I've got a marker over here, but as you can see I've got a 99 there with the green marker behind it. So let's just click on my 99. And what that's doing is saying I've got 99 markers in a small area when you click on that it expands it out so my green area my green marker I should say is actually a warehouse and the circle around it is a 10 mile radius and all these clusters are numbers of customers within that area so having something like this allows you to cluster markers together so you don't just see hundreds of red markers all together and you can't tell where they are so this is a very powerful uh, feature of using the Google Maps API. Again, I can pick it up, drag it around and zoom in. Thank you for watching this video on integrating Google Maps into Cognos. I hope you found this useful. You can check our website for more information or if you're considering a mapping project, please do not hesitate to contact us directly.